And now to Imo State, the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development has flagged off the enumeration of homegrown school feeding in Imo State to tackle the effects of poverty, increase school enrollment and boost the nutrition of pupils in government primary schools across the state. Speaking during the program in Oweri, the minister who was represented by a director in the ministry, Mr. Ralph Obi, says over 9 million pupils have benefited from the first free meal a day program during the school term nationwide. The Commissioner for Finance and Coordinating Economy, Doris Uzoka, who represented the governor of Imo State and the state's focal person, Princess Ude, thanked the federal government for the intervention program. Because this is a federal program, federal can only shoot out. They cannot determine where the seed falls and whether it germinates. That is the work of the state. So if we don't do what is expected of us, our state will be the loser. And moreover, this is a humanitarian service. I saw at the door that the office was using with the special advisor to the governor on SDG and humanitarian services. That is very, very key to the issue of the poor and the vulnerable. So we expect that the state should go down to the grassroots, get those people with poor, poor and vulnerable, and let them benefit from this myriad of programs that the federal government is rolling out. His Excellency has shown steps ahead of any other state government in this, in this country to establish a rule specifically targeted at coordinating all intervention programs from donor agencies and related multilateral agencies. And working with the SDG, we are very certain that this coordination uh, between these two, uh, or between all parties involved, will ensure that the, the National Home Grown School Feeding Program will be a sustainable venture in, in the most state, and that those who desire or deserve this um, program get the value for what it is intended for. To target the youths, the elderly persons, widows, the poorest of the poor, the children and micro-business persons. They are also in intentionally created to touch the lives of millions of Nigerians with indices on the reduction of hunger as well as with malnutrition. It also generates employment for our teeming un underemployed youths. The ministry also gave out tablets and engagement letters to some trained youths in the state to serve as independent monitors of the social investment programs. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.